Well, David Heyman is Professor of Infectious Disease at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. He's also the former Assistant Director General for Health, Security and Environment at the World Health Organization. Welcome to the program, Professor Heyman. So uh, just how worried should we be about this? Well, this is a new infection in humans, and when a new infection enters human populations and begins to spread from person to person, there's reason to be concerned. But there's also reason to help others understand how this infection is really transmitted. Because if we can do our own risk assessment and understand if we're at risk, we can then begin to slow the spread and, and possibly stop it. So you talked there about the transmission. Do we know how it is spread? We know how it's spread, yes. This infection is caused by a virus that causes a sore on the arm or on the leg or sometimes even in the genital area. And that sore opens up and weeps and is moist. And inside the sore is the virus, which is transmitted to another person by close physical contact with that sore. So that if a person is in close contact, has a break in their skin, or has a mucous membrane that's in contact with this sore, the infection could transmit to that person. So that does sound unpleasant, but uh, how dangerous is it? How badly ill can people get? Well, people usually have a very um, scant rash, maybe one or two pox, they're called pox lesions, on the skin somewhere. But others can have a more generalized infection, can have fever and, and have flu symptoms. And occasionally, very occasionally, there is a fatal case. But this is not common with this strain of the monkeypox virus. But the strain that's present in Central Africa is very lethal and can cause 10% of people to die, 10% who have infection. So we're seeing this sudden uh, upsurge in cases. Why do you think we're seeing that now? We're seeing that because the virus has found a way that it can be amplified in transmission. Because highly um, promiscuous groups or groups that are in close physical contact together have a greater chance of spreading the virus from one to another. And that causes an amplification of transmission. So what's important now is that everybody understand how this is transmitted and that they can prevent themselves from being transmitted if they avoid physical contact with people who may have those sores that are weeping out virus. We're seeing multiple cases in many different countries, though, aren't there? Is there anything to link these cases? Do they all go back to the same point? It's not clear yet, but they're all caused by the West African strain of the virus. But it seems that there have been some international gatherings where people have been together in close contact and then spread the virus back to their own countries. And it appears that's what might be happening with the spread into uh, Europe, into North America, and into now Australia. Let's talk about treatment then. Um, if people do get this disease, what treatment can they expect? Well, there's an antiviral drug that can cure the infection. And there's also a vaccine that can prevent infection or that can even modify the infection if it's given within four days of a, of a person having been infected. But both the virus vaccine and the antiviral drug are in short supply. They've not been produced in quantity sufficient to be used at this point. But the good news is that just by taking the necessary precautions, not having close contact, if it's a sexual contact, then being sure that, the, that there is protection, this virus will not transmit. And some governments have been ordering thousands of doses of uh, smallpox vaccines, uh, which can be used to treat monkeypox. So are there fears that cases of it could multiply exponentially? There are fears that this will uh, in, increase in transmission exponentially, and it could then spread into other portions of the population as well. We know now that in Europe there have been a case where there's been family transmission, or several times there's been transmission within a family, and there's also what appears to be transmission by um, sexual uh, contact. Okay, Professor David Heyman from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, thank you very much indeed for talking to us today.